wildlife is struggling and disappearing. Not only are animals losing habitat, but pesticides are killing the beneficial insects at the bottom of the food chain. The population of the monarch butterfly is in serious decline. The same is true for 700 bee species native to North America. Hi, I'm Nivian Saleh. If you're concerned about our wildlife, you will like this opportunity. It is the Native Landscape Certification Program, or NLCP for short. It is offered by the Native Plant Society of Texas, and it will help you convert your green space, no matter how small it is, into a haven for wildlife. Native plants, like the ones right behind me, are really keyed for native wildlife. Some of the species behind me can serve as many as 300 species of insects. You just can't get that kind of performance out of a plant that's exotic that you've bought from a nursery. It just doesn't support wildlife in the same way. The NLCP program is going to empower you to create really effective wildlife gardens for your yard or for a public park or a school so that you can be on the front lines of conserving things like monarch butterflies, vanishing bees, migratory birds, and it means that you are taking a vested interest in making sure that our kids can see these species when they are your age. Utilizing native plants in your landscaping is so much better than non-natives. So with native plants, particularly native prairie plants, they not only sequester carbon, but they have extremely deep roots. And the deeper a plant's roots is, the more water it can absorb. The more water it absorbs and puts back into the soil, the less flooding we will have. And in Houston, that's a really important issue. The NLCP program was organized by the Native Plant Society of Texas to convey practical and meaningful information on gardening and landscaping with native plants. It involves uh, four levels. Level one is introduction uh, to native plants, which covers a lot of the basics of what they are and the functions they provide. Level two is design. It's how to put together a native landscape, how to mix variant plants uh, that may offer different things to different wildlife. Uh, level three is installation and maintenance. And finally, level four is to involve people and give them the basic knowledge to convey um, major directions that may be at the state level or national level. It's based on two parts in each class. The first part is a standard classroom lecture with PowerPoint slides. A lot of plant knowledge is conveyed in that session. But equally important, or perhaps even more important, what this class offers is a field or plant walk portion. So we've selected locations where they can find these plants on a plant walk near the classroom. And then they can see the, you know, the growth aspect, what it looks like, how tall it grows, what color fruit does it have. All these things that kind of show you that plant in its natural context. Almost anybody can benefit from taking an NLCP class. And that includes total newbies to garden, who just want to maybe see some more butterflies coming to their yard. It can be master gardeners, master naturalists. Uh, I think of great importance are people who are doing commercial landscapes. City planners would be wonderful students for NLCP. I'm a master gardener, so I try to tend when people ask questions about different plants and stuff. I tend to try to have them go more towards the Texas native plants versus other plants that you buy at the nurseries. Everything that's labeled a native or either a Texas superstar may not, in fact, be a local native and may not be appropriate for me to use in my yard. And I've discovered a few things that I wasn't aware of that I should not be using. In fact, one of the invasives today, I saw it and I thought, oh, that's a nice plant, and I even potted it up. So now I've got to go home and destroy it. So I'm learning what to use, what not to use. Several years ago, I bought a book on native plant landscaping, but I didn't know where to find the plants, and I don't really know anything about landscaping. 
And so when I found out that they were doing a training course, I got very excited because I thought, well, finally I can learn all the things I need to learn to be able to actually do this in my own yard. And I found these classes and I was completely like happy and enthusiastic about them. This is a wonderful program and I really encourage people to come out here and just take these classes. We live inside the loop in Houston and here are some of the native animals that we've attracted to our garden with native plants and a water feature. Neon skimmer, baby toad, eastern screech owl, a yellow crowned night heron, a cooper's hawk. Is this wetting your whistle? Then sign up and join us. See you soon!